I'm curious just like, you know, what you think of, of PewDiePie as, as a climber. Because a lot of the cl comments are like, is he a climber? When did he start climbing? And I'm watching it, and he seemed pretty legit to me, especially if those were hard problems. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people would call him a proper climber because he doesn't climb outside. But we fixed that because, because we took him outside once, so I guess now he is a proper climber. Right. But I think, no, he, I would say he's a proper climber. He cares a lot about climbing. He, um, yeah, he, he really cares. Uh, that's like his main thing right now. It seems like uh, he's obsessed with it, like we all are, I guess. Um, so, no, I would say that he's a proper climber. He's also better than I thought he would. Yeah, he moves really well. Uh, he's strong physically. And uh, I think he's going to improve a lot the next uh, years because uh, he spends a lot of time bouldering. We also tried to get him to uh, lead climb or for a future collab, but it seemed like he was, was not really open to that idea. Um, you know, he found his thing with bouldering and he seems like he just wants to get as good as possible with that. And I told him it's the same way for me with video games because I don't play a lot of games. Um, but when I find something that I really like, I stick to that. I don't want to try multiple games. Like I remember when I was young, all my friends, they would just try different things and when you enjoy they would get tired of one game but I would not get tired of a game I would just want to try to become as good as possible at that one game and he said it's the same thing for him and climbing um, he's found bouldering now and he he just he doesn't want to be distracted with all the other kinds of climbing he just wants to focus on bouldering yeah I think that's a like a competitor's mindset trait like you've got you know like where it's like I, I need to beat this game I need to do this thing I don't really have that as you know, more of a jack of all trades, master of none, kind of a, you know, uh, amateur in most of the things that I do. I'm, I'm okay dabbling, but I do see that when I talk to people like you or Adam or Alex Magos, where there's almost an obsessive level of wanting to get great at something and, and drill down on something. And of course, you know, PewDiePie is an incredible content creator. For, for a few years, he was the top youtuber right like number one on the entire platform so he's he's attained a very high level of success in that it doesn't surprise me that he now wants to you know really get great at climbing if that's what he's psyched on yeah he uh he's now retired in quotation mark from youtube uh he still uploads but he's not that focused on it um but yeah i think he was the first person to reach 100 million subscribers um yeah so he's definitely one of the biggest um creators um yeah well let's talk about his climbing for a second here because you spent some time with him in that gym and i think he'd only been climbing for like two years maybe is that right yeah something like that yeah so you know it looked to me at least and you spent some time with him but you guys were working on some hard stuff v4s v5s and that's at least in that gym seemed like maybe the grades were even harder than what they said they were so um you said he was a strong climber i'm curious like what were his strengths uh, that, that you observed yeah i mean first of all those bowlers that we tried uh, even though it, it said v5 v4 v5 uh, i think in a normal gym they would be around v6 v7 i think that's the sort of level that he's at you know wow. um and i have a few friends who've gotten strong really fast like him i think i said this to him too off cam i think that um the thing you should be uh, careful of is injuries. I know a lot of people who started late and they get really psyched and they train really hard and they get super strong and they only do bouldering and not any other type of climbing. Most of those guys get injured. Uh, most of the people I know at least. So I think that's the main thing uh, that he should be careful of. Um, and that is also why I think it would be good to do a little bit of um, uh, sport climbing, out to belay whatever he wants like even top roping uh if uh, if he's afraid of heights i'm not sure if he is but uh, i don't think he would admit it if he was <laughs> all right y'all quick shout out for today's sponsor which is rungney magnus mitbo's company and man they got my favorite product back in stock mag juice i didn't come up with the name of it but i love it anyway mag juice is liquid chalk and in these hot months you guys I need all the extra help I can get to keep my hands dry. Mag juice is going to keep your hands chalky and dry for much longer than just using regular loose chalk. That means you can chalk up less often, which means you can hang on to the wall a little bit longer. That's been my experience with it. I think you're going to love it too. Man, I love the whole line of chalk there. I love the chalk ball. I love their loose chalk. 
And man, do I love that juicy, juicy mag juice. You guys can score 15% off some mag juice as well as everything else over at Rungni. I love their apparel. I love everything by using code STRUGGLE at that link right there. Well, it, it did seem because you guys went outdoors after you did the, the indoor gym sesh. And I think it was like maybe a V0 or a V1, although it looked hard. And anytime I go outdoors, the, the outdoor grades always seem harder than when I'm at the gym anyway. Uh, but it seemed like, I don't know if one would consider it a high ball, but it was a pretty friggin' high boulder that you guys got on. It topped out on some like grass and some moss. I mean, it looked pretty <laughs> sketchy, but he ended up doing it. Yeah, no, that was very impressive. It had like a high heel look or something. Um, yeah. And the ground was not really that even. There were some rocks and stuff that uh, were in the way. So yeah, no, I, he, he's not too afraid of uh, like the bouldering part. He didn't, he didn't seem scared of at all. Um, so, and he seemed to enjoy it too. Like he, he, re he really liked like being out in nature and everything. Um, so maybe I, spark I actually gave him the guidebook after we finished because uh, I, I wasn't going to come back in a while and I thought that he probably would. So he has the guidebook now. Maybe he will um, go there and boulder on his own. I yeah. think that he might. Yeah. Yeah. And, and do you think he'll be taking the cold plunge again? <laughs> no, it didn't seem like he enjoyed that part so much. So probably <laughs> not. <laughs> 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 I don't know though. You guys did that, and then he went and flashed a V three. Like maybe the cold plunge is aid. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. I I think that is it's very healthy. Yeah. Yeah, you handled it very very well. It was that was impressive to see. Well, kind of bringing back to some of his his like technique and his climbing because it's it's interesting. I mean, obviously he's a huge you know international superstar YouTube personality, but as a climber he's more representative, if you will, of kind of the rest of us who are in there trying to get hard, trying to get, you know, to, to get stronger, trying to climb harder. And he's progressing quite fast. It did seem like he was pretty skilled on static and heel hook type things. The struggles were maybe on the more dynamic style climbing. Is that fair? Yeah, I agree. Um, he said that he hadn't even been trying like the comp style boulders. He had just been avoiding those. Um, but uh, I showed him a few and he was actually really good at that style so I was a little bit confused about that because um, if, if he hasn't tried them before he has a natural talent for, that, for those sort of moves definitely he did like a coordination jump uh, really quickly that was like one of the hardest bowlers that he did um, and I wonder if that is um, if it's the same with a lot of people at his level that are kind of avoiding those types of bowlers I'm not sure Hey, if you really liked this conversation here with Magnus, what a good guy. I talked with him for almost two hours on the podcast where he shared all sorts of training tips and tricks and also a bunch of stories that I never heard before. Some crazy ones, in fact. And it's all right there on the podcast for zero cost. So check it out.